Hey guys, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to give uh, Kaspersky uh, 2011 a try. It's in beta right now. I went and downloaded uh, Kaspersky Internet Security. Got it installed here and updated. Uh, you can see the new interface here. I kind of like this interface a little bit better than uh, the 2010. The only thing I, I've been looking at, it, the only thing I don't like is this orb right here, whatever you want to call it this line from from that line to this line and from that one to that one doesn't look even but you know that's just something that I saw real quick and you know I'm sure they'll get it fixed but uh, I'm, th I'm like that with details so uh, you can see some of the uh, different settings here you know different tabs you can see it was updated two minutes ago we'll run another update real quick and uh, you get 31 days when you try out the beta software. While that's updating, let's uh, go to the settings here so you can see. You have the you know, protection, the shields here, antivirus, uh, mail shield, web shield, uh, internet, messenger, or uh, it's a messenger, sorry, application, system watcher, uh, firewall proactive defense <clears throat> excuse me network attack anti-spam anti-banner um, you got some of the scan settings update settings and uh, just different extra settings here self-defense battery saving compatibility things like that so while this is doing whatever it's doing here Let's open up the new links for today. Let's open up Internet Explorer here. And what I'm going to do right now is while this finish is updating here, uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so it went ran through its update. The couple things they do have to fix is when it updates, it jumps up real high in RAM usage. I, I saw up to like 150 megs and the CPU is just maxed out at 100%. So that's something that they, uh, you know, they got to work on. So let's get going here with uh, some of these links. Okay, that one got blocked. That one doesn't work anymore. And that one got blocked. Looks like that one went by the web shield. And that one got blocked. And there you go. And that one got blocked. right now it's analyzing it and it looks like it blocked it. Let's see what happened to it. Doesn't seem to have the uh application control like it did uh, on the other one. Easily accessible here. OK, 
Okay, it looks like those got went to untrusted. I think. It looks like it. They got red marks here. Yep, yeah, they did. Untrusted, so those got blocked automatically. Okay, let's move on here. doesn't have a signature for that one. Now it's up to the heuristics and behavior blocker to protect the system. And it did. You can see it blocked that. And that one got blocked by the web AV. Looks like that one got blocked the web by the web AV, and that also got blocked. Oh no, there it is. Okay, let's see here. So you can see some of these didn't have uh, signatures or anything for them. Looks like that one either got blocked or yep, it got blocked right there. A behavior blocker. This one also doesn't have a signature for it. Okay, it looks like that one might have made it through. I'll have to see what happens when I do a scan. Alright, so let me pause the video while the computer works here in the background, and I'll be back when something pops up on the screen. Okay, so here's something kind of funny. Um, that one uh, video plugin that I thought got by actually got blocked by Windows Defender. So that's kind of interesting. And I found another one here. Um, it was that loader underscore one dot exe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Kaspersky, and I'm going to do a critical area scan and I'll be right back okay so I ran the critical scan and it finished and it didn't find anything and I was gonna run the full scan but they wanted to take an, an hour to scan that so I decided not to do that so I'm just gonna check here real quick and uh, see if I see anything out of the ordinary and if not I'm gonna go download Hitman Pro install it and uh, run a scan I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Um, the only thing is, look at the RAM usage here. It's pretty high, on, but they still got time to fix it. So I'll be right back with the Hitman Pro results. Okay, so I did a scan with Malwarebytes here, and it looks like I uh, got a couple things that went by that Malwarebytes found. One is a worm, infocard.exe, and another one is a registry key change. And then I did a scan with Hitman Pro and uh, found one piece of malware that is in the Windows Defender uh, it's been copied there uh, probably when it was removing it some temporary internet files and then yet again that info card uh, high risk worm so as you can see I actually got uh, a couple things by Kaspersky um, internet security so they got a little bit more improvement to do on it uh, but other than that that's it take care